today and she's always going to be with us today. Her memory lives on and continues as we celebrate Selena's life and legacy and who better to talk to on this day than, than Pina Studio, a member of the Dinos and such fond memories and, and that's that's what I want to talk to you about in this segment. We want to talk yeah. to you about your memories with Selena. Well, there's so many wonderful memories. Of course, I'm very blessed to have been part of the band, like I said, since the late 80s and to 1994 when I did a solo career but even when I went solo I was so very much part of the band working with Abby with the whole band working with her so it was an amazing journey to me what's really cool is that I got I got to see this young girl teenager because I, I think she was about 16 when I met her and, and the first time that we ever opened up for her the bad boys was here in Robstown at the, at the, what's the name of that place? It's, I think it's still there. Yeah. The, uh, Come on, Barbie. Hi, Chaparral. Hi, Chaparral. Hi, Chaparral. Hi, Chaparral. Hi, Chaparral. Of course. And that, that was the very first time that Joe and I had the bad boys opened up her. And I remember, it's a long story, but bottom line, it was a really bad show for them. <laughs> and in, 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 in my head, <laughs> well, the <laughs> thing is, the thing is, I <laughs> love his honesty. But this is, this is the truth, and I'm, there's a point to my story. <laughs> the thing is, I was used to seeing her in Laredo, which is where I, where we met her, and when she went to Laredo, it was packed. I mean, it was jam-packed. So in my head, I was thinking, Robstown, Corpus Christi, va a estar hasta las chanclas. <laughs> yeah. And I figured, like, everybody from Corpus is going to be there, everybody from sure. Robstown is going to be there. And it was a total flop. Oh, wow. So when we went up and opened up, you know, we opened up for her, and when Abraham went and told us, it's time for you to come up and play, I was like, Nobody here, and I think I even got in trouble for saying that Ooh. at the time. And yeah. they're like, "Well, I told I hired you to play, not to tell me if there's people here or not." <laughs> so we went up and did our thing. Of course, we were just glad to be there. In in my head, I was thinking they're gonna cancel because there was about 30, 40 people there. Mm -hmm. And I, we got back in our little van, and Joe and I were thinking like, "They're probably gonna cancel. Nobody's here." But sure enough, I see him getting off the bus, Bertha. In their, in their outfits mm -hmm. and get on stage and put on a show like it was the Super Bowl. Yeah. And to me, that was, I think, one of the biggest lessons I learned, and I still carry it with me, the, the work ethic, the respect for the audience, mm -hmm. the respect for their word and say, we're going to play here. And it didn't matter if there was 30 or 30,000. Right. And to me, that was a really huge slap in the face of reality in a right. good way. And it's such a, a, a night that was a flop in so many ways. Is probably one of the most important parts nights of my life because I learned so much from that night and it really has structured me to be the person that I am today the artist because I learned even though she's younger than me I mean I learned so much from her and from Abby from Suzette from Abraham from all of them so I mean every day on stage was a learning experience and I would look at her and you know she would do a little something I'd try to follow her and dance with her and sort of thing with Ab, and it was it was just connecting with all of them right. and it was just a, and to see like a, going back to what I meant was to say that going seeing her from that show where there was 30 40 people and then being at the dome for 60,000 and being in Monterrey with 90,000. I got to see all of that, man. And it, it, to me, that's the biggest blessing, to have seen it and seen her growth and, and you know, album after album. There was albums back there. Mm -hmm. and back <laughs> in the day, people were, the kids are probably going like, what the heck? What is album? They're, gonna, they're Googling what, what, it right what, now. What's this Mexican <laughs> talking about? But to me, that's one of the most beautiful things. I know there's so many things we could pinpoint, but sure. just the whole experience of seeing her grow for that young girl into this mega star in 20 music icon and, and to really now a legend to be honest with absolutely you. and, and to know lessons. to yes. know that this legacy continues today yes. with people that weren't even alive when she was performing and that is the most beautiful thing i think too because i always say this a new fan being born every day yeah. because the thing is her music is is almost i don't not almost it's, it's, just, a, it's just alive and thriving and important as it was 30 years ago and her memory, her, her legacy is her music, obviously. And, and there's new generations of, of children, teenagers, yeah. that, that, that have embraced her, Los Dinos, the music, and made it their own. Exactly. And that's the beauty of it. And, and, and God willing, 
va a haber esa música va a estar aquí en el, con nosotros por por muchos 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 años más. Absolutely. Thank you so much for, sh for sharing the life lessons that you've learned. Those are priceless that you learn, you know, from Selena and mm -hmm. her family. Mm -hmm. um, why do you think? And you talked about, you know, how these little girls are and little boys and people w at mm -hmm. any age love her so much. Why do you think that her legacy continues to be what it is and will continue? Why do you think? What's, what's I, I really think it's the, the person, of course. She was electric. She was charismatic. She was a good human being. I mean, she really, really was a good person. I, and I mean, be, I really mean it from the bottom. She's yeah. one of the nicest, most humble persons I've ever met in my life. And then, of course, the music. The music, the music is, is, is gone. I mean, not, and not because I'm part of it, but it's gone on to be timeless. Sure. The music that we were doing back in the, in the late 80s, I don't think we even know what we were doing back then. Well, AB might, might say something different. <laughs> 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 but my point is, we didn't know the impact. That's yeah, what I meant to go. say. Exactly. We knew what we were doing. We didn't know. We didn't know about the impact that it was going to have. And I think it's the music. It, it's just so honest. It's so. It, I mean, I want to say clean. It, it's honest, clean, real, mm -hmm. humble. And then the, the our, our vehicle. Sure. Selena. Amazing. Yeah, of course. More with Pita Studio with a song coming up. Como te extraño, coming up right here on the main live. So stick around, we'll be right back.